Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to make over a few items and we're going to start with this picture. And uh, this is not an old picture. Um, and I thought about just kind of keeping this color close because I didn't want to have to paint the inside. Uh, so um, I'm going to uh, paint this in the color Peacock. Uh, this is going to be a brighter color than I'm used to doing, but... Um, I had uh, one ask uh, me to use some other colors, so I'm going to try to add another color in here and there. Now, I'm going to use this clay mold on this picture uh, because I want to give it uh, more character. So I'm going to use this larger bird in flight here, and this is from uh, the IOD set called uh, Birdsong. So um, I'm just putting some cornstarch in my mold to make sure that it, uh, that it doesn't stick. And then I'm using DAS clay and I'll just, um, I'll just press that in there. And the, the great thing about the IOD um, molds that I haven't seen in any other uh, molds is that they have a little ridge that comes up around the entire design. And so when you rub that off with your fingers, uh, you'll clip that edge off and it just gives you a lot cleaner finish. I wish they would all catch on to that and add that to theirs, but uh, that is definitely my favorite thing about these molds. But I want, once I finish this mold, then I do put it in the freezer for just a short time to stiffen up before I take it out. Uh, that just helps your, um, your mold come out cleaner. And then I'm going to glue this to my picture using tight bond thick and quick. And I just, I use Gorilla Glue sometimes, uh, but I just have better luck with this. And I'm just rubbing it on my picture here. A lot of times I'll rub it onto the back of the mold. Uh, but um, I wanted to make sure that I didn't break my mold this time. So um, so I just did it on. And I'll just clean that up. And I'm going to be painting this with some textured paint anyway. So uh, if I don't get it all off well, then it really won't matter. So I just glue that on and anytime I'm gluing and I see I broke it there, but I just kind of press that together because it's still good and fresh and, um, and then, uh, make sure that I've got it glued down really well. And like I said, I'm going to be using a te textured paint. So any little mistakes, even in the mold are going to be hidden. So, uh, like I said, just mainly press down around the edges well without pressing so hard that you uh, that you mess up your design. And then I mix uh, my paint color, which is again uh, Peacock from Dixie Belle. I mix that half paint and half baking soda and that will give me plenty of texture in my paint. And then I just paint uh, two good coats on this and um and then let it dry well and it's very important that when you're painting on glass you let it dry really well before you do your next coat and um i would even say overnight and i like to use a clear coat before i do my waxes i'm going to be doing a white wax on this uh, but I like to seal this with a clear coat of some kind. It could be a polyurethane or a, uh, some sort of clear matte spray, which is usually what I use, uh, or a brush on top coat. But it, it definitely needs to be sealed and let that dry well before you start rubbing your wax on because you don't want to rub any of that paint off. And then I just get, uh, go over this with, uh, with my white wax. And uh, I want this to be heavily waxed. Um, and when you heavily wax something, you need to give it a few days to cure before you put it out for sale. Uh, but I, I want it to tone this color down a lot. And so instead of really rubbing that, I'm, I'm more patting it and just removing the excess, but leaving a lot of, of the wax behind so that 
um, it, it just gives this a lot more character and like I said it tones this color down so once I get this wax on and um, and wiped off where it needs uh, then this item will be finished and ready for a hang tag and so I just kind of made a hang tag to go along with this and I found this little sticker uh, of the little bird in flight in a set that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree and added that to this and I thought it was appropriate uh, for this picture and then the next item was this bird that I've had in my store for a while and nobody seems to like this color so it's getting a paint job also and uh, I'm, this doesn't have to be clear coated or anything because there's actually even some decoupage on this. So I'm using that same textured paint here and giving this one coat covers it well. And I give this one coat of the color Peacock and then I'll be using the white wax on this also. And again, I want to leave uh, quite a bit of white wax on this uh, to tone this color down. And then for my next item, I thrifted this little vintage uh, picture and uh, the picture inside is, is pretty faded. But this little picture uh, makes me think of a cameo, the shape of it. So it kind of gave me an idea. I want to put a bird in this with one of my clay molds. And so when I made my other bird, I, uh, my other mold, I made a bird mold for this one also that would fit inside this and I'm just going to paint directly onto the glass uh, because there's no need to take this out I'm going to have to put some sort of base in here anyway so it may as well be the glass and um, so I give this two coats of the color uh, buttercream and I don't worry with using a slick stick because the paint's going to stick well to the frame which is plastic and uh, the glass, I'm going to be covering it anyway, so, um, so I don't worry about using slick stick here. So I give this two coats of the color buttercream, and I go ahead and paint the back of this also just to kind of clean it up. And then once this is dry, then I found some scrapbook paper that was the right color that I needed. So I cut it the size of my opening, and then I cut my lace. Uh, to fit that and uh, I end up trimming the lace so that it fits that better and then I'm just going to glue that scrapbook paper onto the glass and uh, and then I'm going to hot glue uh, my lace around the edges and kind of uh, sporadically inside on the inside part of the lace but behind some of the heavier designs so that my glue doesn't show so I just kind of carefully glue that in. And then once I get all that glue in place and it's good and secure, then I use my tight bond and glue, um, glue my mold in the center. And uh, so that's giving this, uh, that gives this a more of a cameo look. And I know that cameos usually have a face in them or a little bust in them, but um, this one is going to have a mold and I've already painted this mold with the color buttercream. Uh, I could leave it white, but I wanted my, the white in the bird to match the white that's on my frame. And I really like how this turned out. It, like I said, it just really reminds me of a cameo. And then I made another hang tag for this one, and this one was finished. And I forgot to mention that I did use a clear coat, a clear wax on this, and I gave it a little bit of pressure when I was putting that on so that it would do a little bit of uh, natural distressing. And then uh, my sister gave me this frame, and it's painted, and I love the color of it, but I want some, I wanted some distress on it, so I just took it outside with my orbital sander and gave it a really good sanding, and then I hung a wreath on there and tied a piece of ribbon around it, and that was finished. So that was just almost not a flip at all, uh, other than distressing it and hanging a ribbon on it. I didn't do anything. Uh, but that's all of my items finished. 
and uh, and then this is the the time where if you don't want to see the Christmas, you can go ahead and turn it off. Uh, but I'm going to be doing um, a Christmas craft. So what I want to do today is show you uh, some ways that you can decorate your tree with music sheets. Now you can either print them offline or you can use vintage ones like I'm using. Uh, but uh, there are several things, and I'm only going to mention a few of them here that you can do uh, with music. Uh, but you could actually decorate your whole tree in it just about and have very little uh, money in it. And then if you wanted your tree, tree to be faith related, uh, that would be a really good base for it. And then you wouldn't have to have as many ornaments. Uh, but I like to use music on my tree, uh, not necessarily in all these ways, but I do like to decorate with that. So what I'm going to do first is start out by um, by cutting some strips of, uh, of this sheet. And I'm just kind of cutting some long, narrow strips. So I don't know how many I do here. I just cut s several long, thin strips and they don't have to be exact at all. But once I get them all cut, I'm just gonna wrap them around a little wooden dowel or you could use a skewer stick here. Uh, I'm just gonna wrap it around and slide it off. And what I'm doing is just cr making some little curlies. Um, so just make several of these and uh, we'll be using those in some ornaments. But first I'm just adding little dabs of glue here and there on these because I'm gonna be sprinkling some glitter over them and I don't want an overwhelming am amount of glitter, I just want a little glitter. And, uh, and I'm using uh, just a shimmery glitter, I don't like the real metallics, but um, so I just put just a little glue and then sprinkle some glitter. And then once I get these covered the way I want them, I, I'm gonna use these Dollar Tree. These are plastic, they're not glass, but I got these at the Dollar Tree and I'm just showing you a couple of different shapes here that they have. And um, so I just, um, the, the little um, thing that's on the top there uh, I'm just going to paint that with an antique bronze color because that just will make it look a lot more, um, won't make it look as cheap uh, and it gives it more of an antique look. And then I'm just going to put some of these down inside until I feel like I have enough. And then once I get uh, the amount that I want in there, then I sprinkled a little bit more glitter inside. Then I do the same thing with the other ornament and, um, and add some glitter in it also. And then I'm ready to paint the lids. And then I just use regular craft glue here, or craft uh, paint here in the metallics and paint this in the color bronze. And like I said, just painting these little lids make a really big difference or toppers. I don't really know what you call these. And then I stamp Joy to the World on some uh, cardstock and antiqued around the edges. And then I put on the larger ornament, uh, I put that down inside uh, on the front. I don't know how I lost that footage. But the smaller one had a smaller uh, opening in the top, so I wasn't able to do that on the on the smaller one. And I just made a little hang tag that that with that same stamp. And then I'll just uh, tie that around this one. Now I know that the ornaments from the Dollar Tree are very cheap uh, looking, uh, but you can change them up so much that uh, you can actually uh, decorate your tree really well with them. And I'm sorry I'm out of frame here, but I'm just tying that around the top. And then I take some lace uh, and where that neck is so long and it has that rigid um, area, I really am not sure why since nothing screws down over that. Uh, but I just wrap some lace around that and, uh, and glue it in place. 
and then I just tie some ribbon around the top, actually just some torn fabric around the top of the other one to finish it off. And then just put a little hanger on it and those make good ornaments. And you could, um, you could put different things inside these and decorate them up, but, um, but I think these are really good to add to your ornaments. And then another thing you can do is um, make your garland from, uh, from music sheets. And I know you've all done that, uh, even in grade school. And what I do, though, is before I connect each uh, circle, I uh, dip the edges in, in uh, I put some glue around the edges and dip just the edges in some glitter and that adds a lot to it and honestly i've had uh, this set of garland for probably a good 10 years and uh, it's still holding up well i think that the glue and the glitter just kind of make it more hard and uh, it just like i said it really holds up occasionally i may have to glue one little circle together but for the most part it's held up really well uh, so that's a couple things you can do there's actually a lot more that you can do um, but then another thing is make your tree topper and for this again you're going to need music sheets and what size you make these is totally up to you uh, but i'm making little cones uh, from my music sheets so just cut them in rectangles and then I'll make a cone and glue that together. So I make several of these because you're gonna need several for this tree topper. And once I get enough of these made, then I take a piece of cardboard and make me a circle. And again, that's just up to you what size you make your circle, but you just need a base. So uh, I'm just going to start gluing these uh, kind of like I was making a flower. And I like to put the uh, higher part of the uh, cone, if that makes sense, uh, in, the, in the back so that um, it's almost like a flower petal. But it, you can see that point and you see the open uh, part of the cone in the front, if that makes sense. So I just glue this all the way around and fill in the, the entire section with these until uh, all my cardboard is covered. So like I said, I just keep filling these in. And uh, I got busy and wasn't able to film um, the next section, but um, what I did was make the next ones uh, a little bit shorter. And... Um, and then after I made those shorter, then I just started gluing them as another layer. And I just kind of tried to break any seams and um, layer that uh, like you were layering flower petals. So like I said, I didn't get to do the, didn't get to show the next layer. Uh, but before, actually, before I added that, I decided to put a paper doily between these. And I don't know that that really showed up that well. I was just kind of trying to add layers so you could actually do without that step. But then once I got all that glue together, then uh, I just kind of uh, brushed a little glue here and there. And I just used Elmer's glue and sprinkled some glitter on. And, um, and it made a really pretty star tree topper. I wish I could have gotten that on film for you, but uh, like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just glue them. So then once I got all these glued together, then I flipped it over and, uh, and just used a strip of fabric and glued on so that I had something to slip over the top of the tree. And you could add other layers here, uh, maybe even something uh, shiny in the center. Uh, but I was happy with, with this one the way it was. Uh, but like I said, 
think about using music sheets, especially if you're trying to come up with enough faith-related items to decorate your tree. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.